I've reported on this incredible battery technology, which is already being used in Geely electric cars and also some other Geely brand EVs in China, but it's going to be revealed and these batteries will be used in global EVs very soon. But guys, this battery technology is in some ways not as good as what I thought and in some ways much better. In the ways that it's not as good, probably not that significant, but you tell me what you think. But in the ways that it's better, it's much better. It's, I mean, miles better. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Guys, if you'd like to um, become a member of the channel, uh, you can. I'll put a link in the description below and you get access to some of our videos that we don't show on the main channel. Now, Geely's Aegis battery, it's short blade battery or it's golden battery. Let's not call it golden battery. That just doesn't sound right. Aegis short blade battery. It's a lithium ion phosphate battery. There were reports saying its energy density was 235 watt hours per kilogram, but those were wrong. I reported those because I thought they were right. But anyway, the actual energy density of the bat of these battery cells is 192 watt hours per kilogram, meaning two watt hours per kilogram higher than BYD's new blade battery version two, which is meant to be released within a few months from now, hasn't hit the market yet. Anyhow, what this means is that it's basically the same energy density as BYD's new blade battery, which, yeah, like I said, it's a few months away. Blade battery, I'm calling it version two. And the energy density is also very similar to the CATL Shensing battery. So we now have really three big batteries worldwide, lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are batteries you'd be happy to have in your car. They're all amazing. Unfortunately, though, I mean, you can't buy any of these yet outside of China. That will change very, very soon. All three of these batteries will be being global EVs, many different models from many different brands within the next 12 months. So that's why I think this kind of information, this kind of technology is very relevant, very important in terms of the longevity. This is the big key here, guys. This is the longest lasting battery pack from what the manufacturer is claiming to go into an EV that is currently in an EV today, right now. You can, like I said, you can buy Geely EVs with this battery in them today. And therefore you actually, this is not a theoretical product. It's currently now. 1.7 million kilometers is what this battery pack is rated for. And how did I work that out? Well, it's actually pretty clear. I mean, for starters, Geely say you can do 3,500 cycles, charging cycles. So that would equate to if you did say 300 miles or 270 miles per charge, that's going to give you around 1.7 million kilometers or about just over 1 million miles. Yeah, that's insane. Now, this battery pack, even more important than that, in my opinion, because that's awesome. But to be honest, what's the difference between a million kilometers and a million miles? Not for you. Who cares? To be honest, let's be honest. By the time you've driven a million kilometers or 600,000 miles in your car, you're going to be so sick of it or you're going to be dead. So whatever. But here's the thing that will affect you straight away. Charging speeds. Battery pack charges at 550 kilowatt charging speeds. It does. Crazy, right? But even more important than that is its thermal runaway. Basically, this battery pack, right? Geely have taken this battery, they've run over it with a truck, all the stuff that BYD did, set it in fire and put it in a fire, but they've actually heated it up even more than what BYD heated up their blade battery. They've done, they've belted the absolute hell out of this thing, doesn't set on fire, put nails into it, doesn't set on fire. It's maybe fireproof, maybe not, but it's very close to being fireproof. The new battery known as a short blade battery features an improved diaphragm to improve energy density and also massively improve safety. It uses multi-element doped electrode materials to reduce the internal chemical reaction rate significantly, which the company claims is one of the main reasons that this new battery can have its massively extended life. The Chinese automaker says the battery can be charged three and a half thousand times, which like I said, is equivalent to about a million miles of driving or with minimal impact to the battery range. So they're saying that actually, you're probably gonna get more than three and a half thousand charges. Not only will the extended usage life help the value of secondhand EVs. I mean, if someone wants to buy your car from you and you've done, I don't know, 200,000 miles, what's the big deal? I mean, the battery pack, the most valuable part of that car will still be fine for many, 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 many years. Geely says it will also reduce carbon emissions by more than 80,000 tons a year. 
Like I said, energy density, 192 watt hours per kilogram for context. That is the similar energy density or actually about 24% higher energy density to Ktel's existing LFP batteries, BOD's existing LFP batteries, which are in, in Tesla cars, BOD cars right now. So if you buy a BOD, a Tesla car in most Western countries, it will come with an energy density in that battery of around 160 to 165 watt hours per kilogram. So about 20% less than this battery pack. But these batteries also charge much, much faster. Tests conducted with short and long blade batteries with the same capacity reveal the short form pack charges much faster. And that's why Geely made the golden battery or the Aegis battery a short blade battery. It takes the long blade battery 26 minutes to charge from 10 to 80%. This new battery takes only 17 minutes. That's a huge improvement in speed. In addition, the capacity retention of the long blade dropped to 79% at minus 30 degrees Celsius, right? The Achilles heel, as per Elon Musk of LFP or lithium ion phosphate batteries, is how they perform in very, 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 very cold temperatures, minus 30 degrees Celsius. What's that? Just about minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit as well. Battery losses do, they do occur. In normal long blade batteries, they go down to 79% in minus 30 degrees. But the short blade only goes down to 90.5%. I mean, that's barely even noticeable. That's only a 9.4% 9, 9 drop in the battery's capacity at extremely cold temperatures, temperatures which you're, you're very, very unlikely to face. In other words, you're not going to notice any difference in day-to-day -day life, even when it's cold in terms of battery, the battery losing charge when it's really cold. Geely has made a big point though of the safety of this battery. That's That, that appears to be in the number one priority, above energy density, above charging speeds, above the ability to keep their, their actual energy in the battery when it's cold. The safety was their number one priority. If the cell is punctured, an aluminum foil layer will automatically fuse into the battery diaphragm to create an insulating layer, preventing short circuits and thermal runaway. During testing, the battery was punctured by eight five millimeter steel needles simultaneously and left to sit for one hour with zero negative effects. I don't believe anyone else has done that kind of battery test ever and not had a fire. Now, as far as I know, BOD had done the nail test on their batteries, but doing it with eight steel needles, I have not heard of anyone doing that before. Geely also shot the battery with a 5.8 millimeter bullet and didn't have any thermal ignition events. So this appears to be from testing that I can see the safest battery pack that I've ever seen. Now, the actual thermal runaway um, technology is very complex and detailed, and I'm gonna make a new video, guys, going into that detail. If you're interested in that better technology, um, yeah, that'll be on the YouTube member section of the site. The testing didn't stop there. The new short blade battery was immersed in seawater, thrown in a fire. I believe the fire was about 500 degrees Celsius. That's insane. Put in insanely cold environments, hit um, with hammers, squashed by 26 tons and scraped as hard as it could be scraped pretty much and well yeah here it is um it's in your car that you're driving no just kidding the batteries are, are incredibly safe i've looked at all the, the the data the technology the what they've actually done with this looked at all the this the testing they've done honestly guys this is probably the best battery you can own in an eb right now i mean charging speed i mean best in the industry Energy density, current best in the industry for LFP. Safety, maybe the safest battery pack. I Honestly, if I had a choice, I could have any battery in my car right now, this would have to be it. I can't think of anything better. Will there be in the future? Yeah, for sure. I mean, to be honest, if I could get the condensed battery from CATL, energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram, that would be insane. But that's not gonna be in EVs for a few years from now. And well, I don't know what, how fast it charges or anything else. Anyway, today is today. Right now, this is the best battery in the world. Thanks for watching.